Those were simpler times, I think. I just feel like we may be going back to that, by the way. But uh, <laughs> in a way, good, because when I read things like the foundations of capitalism are shattering, I'm like, maybe we need that. Maybe we need some time where we're walking around with a donkey with pots clanging on the sides. You, you think know? that would just bring us back to reality? Yeah, because everything is amazing right now, and nobody's happy. Like, in my lifetime, the changes in the world have been incredible. When I was a kid, we had a rotary phone. We had a phone that you had to stand next to, and you had to dial it. Yes. Do you, you realize how primitive... You're making sparks <laughs> in a phone, and you actually would hate people with zeros in their numbers because it was more... It was right. like, oh, this guy's got two zeros. Screw that guy. Why do I want to... Yeah. Ugh. And then if, if they called and you weren't home, the phone would just ring lonely by itself. And then if you wanted money, you had to go in the bank for when yes. it was open for like three hours. You had to stay in line, write yourself a check like an idiot. And then when you ran out of money, you'd just go, well, I can't do any more things now. <laughs> right. I can't do any more That's things. That's it, yeah. That was it. And e even if you had a credit card, they'd, the guy would go, ugh, and he'd bring out this whole shunk, shunk, and he'd write, yes. oh, cut, you'd have to call the president to see if you have any money. And it's all true, kids. Phone. You had to call the president, yeah. It was ridiculous. Yes. Do you feel that we now, in the 21st century, we take technology for granted? Well, yeah, because now we live in an, in an amazing, amazing world, and it's wasted on the, on the crappiest generation of just spoiled idiots <laughs> that don't care, because this is what people are like now. They got their phone, and they're like, ugh, it won't... Give it a second! <laughs> give it, it's going to space. <laughs> Can you give it a second to get back from space? Is the speed of light it's too true. slow? It's true. Yeah. yeah. I was on a, I was on an airplane and there was internet, high speed internet on the airplane. That's yes. the newest thing that I know exists. And I'm sitting on the plane and they go, open up your laptop. You can go on the internet and it's fast and I'm watching YouTube clips. It's I'm in an airplane, and then it breaks down and they apologize. The internet's not working. The guy next to me goes, this is bull. Like, how quickly the world owes him something yes. he knew existed only 10 seconds ago. Right. Right. And on planes... I mean, flying is the worst one, because people come back from flights, and they tell you their story. And it's like a horror story. It's They act like their flight was like a cattle car in the 40s in Germany. That's yeah. how bad they make it sound. Right. They're like, it was the worst day of my life. First of all, we didn't board for 20 minutes. Right. And then we get on the plane, and they made us sit there on the runway for 40 minutes. We had to sit there. Oh, really, what happened next? Did you fly through the air incredibly <laughs> like a bird? Did you partake in the miracle of human flight, you non-contributing zero, <laughs> that you got to fly? <laughs> You're flying! <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Everybody on every plane should just constantly be going, oh my god! Wow! Yes! You're flying. You're, you're sitting in a chair in the sky. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's right. Now, now Louis. But, it, but it, doesn't, it doesn't go back a lot. <laughs> and it's, and it's not really. Little... You know, here's the thing. People, like, they say there's delays on flights. Yeah. Delays, really? New York to California in five hours. That used to take 30 years <laughs> to do that. And a bunch of you would die on the way there and have a baby. You'd be a whole different group of people by the time you got there. <laughs> now you watch a movie and you take a dump in your home. Yeah. Well, yeah. Nicer way to say it than that, but yeah. A... No. Now, Louis, before we go, uh, we don't have much time, but I, I know that you, you have talked about your children before yeah. uh, in, in your comedy, and um, you, you've said some rough, horrible things about your kids. Yes. How are you feeling now? How, how about the children? Well, I blame myself more now, because I'm an older father, and I've realized I don't have crappy kids. Right. I'm a crappy dad. Oh! That's <laughs> and, the good news. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying... Here's, like, I make huge mistakes. Like, I was telling my daughter... My daughter was asking me these questions once, and I'm just doing stuff, and... Hey, Daddy, does the world go around the sun? I'm like, yeah. She goes, does it go in a square or a circle? I'm like, it's like an oval. <laughs> she says, does the earth go around the sun all the time? I'm like, yeah. She says, will it always go around the sun? And I go, well, yeah, not always, because at some point the sun's going to explode. 
I said this to a six-year-old. Yeah. I told her the sun's gonna explode. She starts crying immediately, just bitter tears for, right. the, for the end of all humanity and right. life. And here's how I tried to save it. I go, honey, this isn't gonna happen until you and everybody you know has been dead for a really long time. <laughs> She didn't know any of those things. <laughs> now she knows all of yes, those things. Yeah, yeah. She's gonna die. Everyone that she knows is gonna die. They're gonna be dead for a long time, and the sun's gonna explode. <laughs> and I'm proud of her how she took it, though. She was like, ugh. Woo! <laughs> Guess I'll go play. Yeah, shake that off. Till I die. <laughs> uh, Louis C. 